So I've got a box, it's got a hole in it, that's awesome. This is kind of my foundation. Now, let's go through and let's make the main axle that goes through it. So this is just gonna be like a half inch dowel, just a big stick that runs through it. But I need to make a new part. If I just, you know, you could just come over here and, you know, make a circle and extrude it and everything, and I could make a dowel that sticks out like that. But the problem with this, is that's all now one piece. It's all one solid unit. I can't have any movement on there. It's not an actually separate part that I can, you know, attach things. It can't spin around or anything. So what we need to do is make a brand new part for that dowel. So let us go ahead and, well, two ways to do this. Um, so first one, file, new, part. All right, so if our box is six inches, let's make a dowel that is half an inch in diameter. So that's just a half an inch circle. And let us extrude it to eight inches. So that way, if we make it eight inches, we've got an inch that sticks out over here, an inch that sticks out over here, and as always, we can adjust it later if we need to. So I'm going to come over here and I can make it 8 inches. Right. I could hit OK. One thing though, because again, let's think about where that origin is. Let's think about how we're going to use this. Maybe I want that just to kind of naturally be centered. So instead of just making it 8 inches one way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit symmetric and I'm going to make it eight inches so it's going to go four inches one way four inches the other way and let's hit OK. It really doesn't make a difference the only real difference it makes is that your origin is now in the center of that piece right there so if I look at these axes it's right there in the middle. Alright doo -doo. All right, so I got that right there and let us Save that. That's its old piece right there. All right, so I'm gonna go to file. I'm gonna go save as. I wanna give this a name that makes sense. And I wanna save it in the right spot. So I'm gonna go to my OneDrive, just make sure, double check, I'm in my right folder that I just created, and give it a name. Since we're probably gonna have a lot of dowels, I don't wanna call it dowel. Let's call it main axle. E-L, Ellie, Ellie. And hit save. Excellent, now I've got two parts. I've got a box, I've got an axle. Let's put them together. So I'm gonna to go to File. I wanna make a brand new assembly. So here I am, English, assembly. We're not doing molds, not doing welds, so a standard .iam assembly file, create. Now here in an assembly, if you've never made an assembly before, this is where you take multiple parts and put them together. You assemble them to add a part you've already made. So down here below you can see anything I have open already. So I have my box open, I have my main axle open, I have my assembly and let's move that right there. If I hit place up here in the top left I want to find my folder. I'm going to go to OneDrive. I'm going to go to Automaton. I'm going to click on my box. And if you want to do multiple things, I can hold down Shift on the keyboard and select whatever I have. And when I hit Open, it doesn't look like much because I've got to zoom out. So I've got those two parts. I've got the box. I've got the dowel. I'm going to click just to put them down. All right. And then, if you wanted to, you could put down multiple ones over here. I can just keep clicking. But I'm going to hit Escape. And I've got my stick. I want to stick it through that hole right there. All right. So this is where we come into joints and constraints. So constraints are what we'll use a lot. That's kind of when you want to take a piece and constrain it to another piece. You want to stick them together somehow. 
Um, just to make things a little bit easier to see, another thing I want to show you is if you go up to view, so just like with your parts, so like if I look at my part, I can see the edges right there. But if I go to assembly, I don't see those edges. It By default, it changes the visual style. So up at the top, go to view, go to visual style, and go to shaded with edges. It's just going to help you see things a little bit clearer. Uh, if you want to, you can do shaded with hidden edges, and that'll give you those dotted lines. Let's go shaded with edges, and we want to stick this stick through that hole right there. So I'm going to go back to assemble. I'm going to go to constrain. So here I've got some different choices. I've got mate, which takes two pieces and puts them together. I've got angle, which we'll use, which can make things at specific angles. If I wanted something sitting at 45 degrees, I could say, hey, make it sit at 45 degrees. I've got tangent. What tangent is, is if you have a circle, if I have a circle and something next to it like that, that is tangent. Right? So we'll use that one a lot. Insert is where you take something and you stick it in something else. So that's what it sounds like we're going to do. So I'm going to insert. Now I've got two options right here. One's kind of inside of it, one's outside. What you do, so I click my insert, click my first piece, click my second piece, that hole where it goes. And if you get the mouse just right, you can see that axis going all the way across there. So if I just click it right there, it puts it right there. It's just kind of stuck. If I switch it to this aligned one, it'll be stuck going that way. All right, so that looks OK. But remember, I want it one inch off on both sides. So that's where this offset comes in. So the offset, let's say if I wanted it half an inch out, I could do it like that. Or if I wanted it 20 inches out, it would do it like that. So this, let's do our offset at one inch. And if I look at that, that doesn't look right. I've got a one inch gap right here. And I've got some, some number of inches over there. So I want to take this and go the other way. So we can just take our offset and go to negative if that happens. So that would switch it out that way. So real quick recap of that. Because we're going to be doing lots of inserts and offsets and things. Constrain, insert, first piece into the hole it goes into. Let's flip it around if we need to and change that offset to minus one. Hit apply. Cool. So now I have a stick in a box. Hooray. All right. A couple things about this, though. I can move this. It's stuck inside of it, but I can still kind of spin it around. You can't really see that it's spinning, spinning around because it's all the same color. So we'll, um, we'll add a little handle to it. And also, if I try to grab it around, I notice this whole thing moves. I don't want the whole thing to move. I want this to be like it was in real life, and I want that box to stay in one place. If I want that box to stay in one place and not move at all, I'm going to click on the box. I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to go down here to grounded. What grounded means is that that box is now stuck. I can click on it. It's not going to move around. Because this dowel is inserted and with that offset, into this box, now that dowel cannot move around. All right. So let's add a little crank handle onto this dowel just so I can see how it works, see it moving, see it rotating, everything like that. So I'm just going to go back to my main axle down here at the bottom. I'm going to click on that. And just like we've done before, if I make any change to this, it will change in my assembly. So let's add just a little handle to that. I'm going to hit Start Sketch. I'm going to click on one of the ends. And how should we do this? You can do this however you want. You can just add a little rectangle like that. 
So let's add a rectangle. Yeah, that's about an inch wide. So I'm going to hit rectangle. Click this top part. Come down. It's going to snap to a half an inch in height. I'm going to bring my width over to one inch. Hit enter. Finish sketch. All right, so now I've got a rectangle. Now I want to make it 3D. I'm going to hit extrude on this part, and I want to go in a yeah, quarter of an inch. That works fine. You know, make it look like whatever you want it to look like. And I'm going to go back to my assembly. So now I can see, oh, turned out on that side. That's OK. So now you can actually see that it is rotating. So I can grab that assembly. I can grab this piece right here. Because I've grounded this, it's not going to move. And I can rotate it. Cool. So now I've got an axle. I've got a box. Now gets to be the fun, tricky stuff where I can work on my mechanisms. Um, just because I like having it on this side, I'm also going to put a little handle on the other side of that. So I'm going to go back to my axle. Let's flip it around to this side. Start a sketch right here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to add what's called a slot. So I'm hit this slot, center point. What a slot is, is essentially a rectangle, but with circles on the ends. So I'm going to hit that slot. I'm going to hit that center point. I'm going to move it out. I want it one inch out. And I want that to be half an inch. Finish sketch. Extrude. I'm going to take this, click all the parts, go the other way, quarter of an inch. Cool. So now I want to go back to my assembly. I've got it right there. Huh. All right. Relationship was placed with respect to geometry that no longer is available. So I must have changed something, maybe. I don't know. Just hit accept. We'll see. Oh. Ah, I see what happened. So what happened is I made that circle and I inserted it in there, but then I got rid of that circle on the end. So if that happened to you, let's fix it. If that didn't happen to you, don't worry about it. But this brings up a good point. So that insert I made, that constraint I made earlier, if I want to see that, Every part I have is over here on my left side menu. If I click that little plus, it will tell me any relationship I have on there. So it has that insert right there. So it's got a little undefined geometry. It's got a little warning thing right there. That means, hey, there's something wrong. So let's go through and fix it. Another thing you can do is click on the relationships. And hey, there that is again. All right. As we go, you're going to have a lot more relationships, a lot more of everything. Like if I look at one of these, if I click on, you know, if I click this box right here, I can hit that and it can sh I can see how many relationships I have already. Or I can go to relationships and I can see I have a lot of them already. So it's going to get a little confusing. This is why naming things is good. All right, so let's fix this real quick before we move on. So I'm going to... One thing you can do is just hit delete, or I can right click, hit delete, or I can right click and edit, and that'll bring this screen back up. So I want this piece to go through this hole. So I clicked the selection, I clicked the one, clicked my first piece, click the two, click my second, and let's flip it around. I don't like that. Let's just delete this. Let's do it again. So now I've deleted that. There you go. You can see me make mistakes all through here. All right. So I'm going to go to constrain. I'm going to go to insert. I want to insert this dowel through this hole. I'm going to flip it around, and I want to offset it 
for one inch. OK, so here we go. So I did one inch there instead of negative one. I'm going to hit apply. And it should work correctly again. There we go. All right. So now I've got a box. Now I've got a axle going through it. So now let's go through and let's make these cams right here. So I'm going to start off. I'm just going to make one. And I'm going to put it on here. All right. 